For those of you guys who want to improve your 2K skills, check out the first ever 2K ebook. For only $10, you guys can know some of the most unstoppable and cheesiest plays in NBA 2K20. The link to that ebook will be the first link in the description. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's YBC and I am back. Bring another video and in this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys some predictions of potential moments cards that we can see dropping in NBA 2K20 my team this week. Before we hop into and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. I do try my best to upload my team videos every single day. And also, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. I did have to change up the intro to this video, and that is because I can't say moments of the week predictions anymore. And that is because of the fact that 2K unfortunately is no longer going to continue the moments of the week promo. I am not sure if you guys know already, but last week a 2K dev confirmed that there's going to be no more moments of the week sets coming in my team. Now I'm not really sure if this is going to be a temporary thing that my team is doing or if it's permanent, but right now guys for the foreseeable future a 2K dev confirmed there's going to be no more moments of the week sets. I'm very disappointed that 2K is no longer going to be continuing the moments of the week and that is because of the fact that they were just simply the most consistent promo in the game and also one of the best. As every single Monday guys, and I mean every single Monday, we would get a moment of the week set with a collector reward either being tokens or a player. Now there is just one more thing that I do want to get to before I start predicting these cards in this video and that is that I want to give a big time shout out to Crubbit 2K for making these moments cards right here. I will leave their Twitter link down below as a first link down below in the description. Make sure you guys go show some love to them on Twitter. Now when it comes to these moments cards who I'm going to be predicting in this video we should be seeing these cards either on Monday February 10th or Tuesday, February 11th. In the last couple of weeks, guys, they have been interchanging it. They have been giving us some moments cards on Tuesday and some on Monday. So we should be seeing these moments cards who I predicted in this video in the next day or two. So now without further ado, guys, let's hop into it. The first prediction who I'm gonna be predicting in this video is a pink diamond Bradley Beal. In the last two weeks, guys, Bradley Beal has been on a scoring tear as he is averaging 37.8 points per game in the last 15 days that right there is the most amount of points a player is averaging in the nba over the course of the last 15 days within that span bradley beal did have multiple 40 point plus performances as against the golden state warriors he dropped 43 and against the M milwaukee bucks he did drop 47 points and on top of that guys if that's not good enough for him to get a ping down moments card he did get a game winning layup against the dallas mavericks in a 119 to 118 point victory against the mavs honestly it seems like whenever somebody has a game winner in real life it seems like 2k always gives them a moments card so considering the performances bradley bill had and that game winner a ping diamond bradley bill is somebody who we should keep on eye our, our eye on out that could be dropping potentially soon in my team Moving on now to the second card who I'm going to be predicting in this video, we should be seeing some form of Curtis Levert. When it comes to the card tier of Curtis Levert, I do see 2K dropping him in the form of a diamond. And that is because of the fact that when he played up against the Toronto Raptors on February 8th, out of nowhere, he dropped 37 points. And on top of that, guys, two games... The two games he played before that 37 point game, he did drop 23 and 29 points. Curtis LeVert has been on a scoring tear lately. A diamond version of Curtis LeVert would be great if 2K dropped him tomorrow. Moving on now to the next player who I'm going to be predicting in this video for the third player. This one right here might be a little bit of a stretch, but considering the numbers that he put up over the course of the last week, a moment's card of him is probably somebody who we should be keeping our eye on out for, and that card might be a pink diamond Giannis. When it comes to the numbers that Giannis put up over the course of the last seven days, he has been averaging nearly 30 points and 20 rebounds a game. Now, when it comes to the real stats that he put up, as I said, he nearly put that up. Over the course of the last seven days, Giannis did average 29.8 points a game and 18.5 rebounds per game, which guys has been insane. On top of the points and rebounding categories, he also has been averaging 7.5 assists over the course of the last week. And on top of those crazy numbers that Giannis has put up over the course of the last week, he against the Philadelphia 76ers, he did drop 36 points and 20 rebounds and pretty much flooded the 76ers as the Milwaukee Bucks came out with the W in that game. On top of that, guys, over the course of the last week, the Milwaukee Bucks have been undefeated. Now, I did say that it was going to be a little bit of a stretch for Giannis to get a moments card, mainly because of the, of the fact that I feel like 2K isn't going to give Giannis a moments card 
for these numbers like any any other player who put up these numbers would get a pink diamond but considering it's Giannis who is arguably the best player right now in the NBA these numbers for him right here guys aren't really anything too crazy considering his season averages are 30 points a game and 13 rebounds so it's kind of like alongside his seasonal average so I'm not really sure if Giannis is going to get one but we should definitely keep on our eye on out for one because those numbers guys are just literally insane on to another fourth player that I'm going to be predicting tomorrow on my team. This one right here, I'm going to be keeping very short and simple. I'm going to be predicting an Amethyst Ja Morant. I'm predicting a Ja Morant card dropping tomorrow on my team because he has just had his first career triple double against Washington Wizards. I just I just started recording this video, guys, as soon as the game got over. And John Morant did end up finishing off that game with a 27 point, 10 rebound, and 10 assist performance to lead the Grizzlies to a W. We could potentially see a diamond John Morant drop in tomorrow by team, but I really do think it's going to be an amethyst because I'm pretty sure John Morant is going to get more moments card later on into the year. I don't think you guys are gonna give us a diamond version of John Morant this early. But they gave us they gave us a pink diamond Zion out of nowhere. So who knows what 2K has up their sleeves, but I'm mainly leaning towards an Amethyst version. Moving on now to the fifth player who I'm going to be predicting dropping tomorrow on my team. I do think that we're probably going to be seeing some sort of form of Forkan Korkmaz. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know who that man is, but in case you guys don't already, he does play for the Philadelphia 76ers, in which in the last two games, he did drop 34 points and 31 points. In a 34-point performance for Korkmaz, he ended up finishing off the game shooting 13-17 from the field, which is crazy, considering he made seven three-pointers in that game where he shot seven of nine from behind the three-point arc. Now, we could either potentially see an Amethyst or Diamond version of Korkmaz. And personally, guys, I'm not really leaning towards any Diamond or Amethyst because I feel like we're going to get a Diamond because of these crazy numbers. But then again, we could get an Amethyst version of Korkmaz because he's not really a name-branded card. You guys know how 2K always shows love to the name-branded cards like LeBron James, like the Zion Williamson. But for guys like Korkmaz, even though he had this crazy performance, he's not a name-branded card. No one, really, no one really knows of his name, which is why I kind of roasting him a little bit by saying you guys everybody knows who he is because not really a lot of people know who he was personally i don't know i didn't know he existed before these last two games so all in all guys we could either be seeing a diamond or amethyst i'm not leaning towards anyone in particular when it comes to that cork mouse card guys i expect that card to be really 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 good because of those percentages that he shot from the floor whenever 2k sees somebody that shoots really well from the field 2k always juices them up especially with the shooting attributes i'm pretty sure that Fork Moss card is going to be getting, or Cork Moss, Cork Moss card is probably going to be getting a ton of shooting badges and also a very, very glitchy jump shot. On to another six moments card who I'm going to be predicting in this video. I do think that we're probably probably going to be seeing a Diamond Serge Ibaka card. Serge Ibaka against the Indiana Pacers on February 5th dropped 30 points. Now, I know you guys are probably saying, YBC, 30 points isn't all that. 30 points, you know, here or there, shouldn't deserve a Diamond. But with around like two minutes left to go in the game, Toronto Raptors were down by nine points and they had an incredible comeback. And the reason why they ultimately came back in the end is because Serge Ibaka hit the game winning three pointer. As I said earlier, 2K always shows loves and always gives cards for having the game winning type of performances. And considering Serge Ibaka had that performance on top of a 30 point game, a diamond Serge Ibaka is definitely going to be a card we see tomorrow in my team. On to another second to last player who I'm going to be predicting in this video. Coming at number 7, I'm predicting an Amethyst Malik Beasley. As you guys probably know, Malik Beasley was a player that was dealt in the Robert Covington trade as Robert Covington went to the Houston Rockets and Minnesota in return got Malik Beasley and a couple other players. And Malik Beasley did have his debut for the Minnesota, Minnesota Timberwolves against the Clippers in which Malik Beasley dropped 23 points, 10 rebounds, shot 7 of 13 from the 3-point line, and within those 7 3-pointers, 6 of them he did make in the first half. When it comes to that Malik Beasley card, we'll probably be going to get him in the form of an Amethyst. And the reason why I'm mainly predicting him is because of his debut. Usually whenever somebody has a really good debut for a new team or in the NBA, like for example, Zion Williamson got a pink diamond for dropping like 20 points in his debut. And with this Malik Beasley card right here, guys, he put up great numbers in his debut for the Minnesota Timberwolves. So we could potentially see a Malik Beasley card in my team tomorrow. Moving on now to the eighth and final player who I'm going to be predicting in this video. I'm going to be predicting a diamond Kelly Oubre. Kelly Oubre against the Houston Rockets a few nights ago went berserk as he dropped 39 points and 9 rebounds. And he, in that game, guys, he shot very well again from the field, 14 of 19, and made 7 three-pointers. 
On top of that 39 point performance, a game prior to that 39 point game, he dropped 30 points. Now, we already do have an Amethyst version of Kelly Oubre already into the game. So, bringing another Kelly Oubre card is probably going to be in the form of a diamond rather than an Amethyst or below. So yeah guys, that right there now is pretty much officially going to wrap it up for this moment's predictions video. If you guys missed out on anybody who I predicted in this video, I will repeat them to you guys right now. As the cards I predicted all include Diamond Serge Ibaka, Pink Diamond Giannis, Amethyst John Morant, Diamond Curtis Levert, Amethyst Malik Beasley, Diamond Kelly Oubre, Pink Diamond Bradley Beal, and either a Diamond or Amethyst for Taz Korkmaz. I did not predict anybody in this video below the card tier of an Amethyst. And that is because of the fact that I'm pretty sure that 2K is done releasing Ruby cards in packs when it comes to moments. Obviously, when it comes to promos like Spotlight and Prime and others, Ruby will still be in the game. When it comes to the moments cards, guys, I don't think we've got like a Ruby moments card in the last couple of weeks. So I'm pretty sure 2K is done giving us Ruby moments cards. Amethyst is likely going to be the lowest tier that we do get from here on out for the rest of the year when it comes to moments cards. Before this video ends, I do want to give a quick shout out to the homies at Crevit 2K as they did make a lot of these moments cards who I did put up in this video the link, the link to their twitter will be down below in the description make sure you guys go show some love to their twitter in the description so that right there now is pretty much going to do it for this video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all love and support if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button also drop a like would be greatly appreciated as well and i will catch all of you guys in the next one and as usual and as always it's ybc on mouse peace